Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, P-Lot, a.k.a. The Brick Slinger. And guess what? Your boy got something to say. First things first, I want to apologize for not um, giving out many videos lately. Uh, so many stuff been going on. But I uh, uh, try to make a decision on which one I want to speak on the most. And apparently this one came up to mind. So rock with me. And as you can see, I'm driving. So as long as you can hear my voice, that's cool. As you already know, a whole thing with Cam Newton um, doing uh, an interview on a podcast, and the, the 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 clip that is going viral out of the whole interview is when he brought up the the difference between a woman and a bad bee. It seems like everybody is on 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 guard because this is Cam Newton and he's over here just trying to, as some folks want to believe, is being misogynist because he basically separated the difference between a woman and a bad bee. Now this is a guy who grew up with a, a, a father who's a minister and a mother who's also in the ministry as well. And he see his parents, who's been married for over 30 years, almost 40. So he, pro he practically knows the difference. He's seen the difference. So that makes it, makes it more qualified to know the difference. But the problem is, you got people that can't separate the two because it seems like it's a whole generalization situation. Yeah, he separated the two. He said, the, and then to top it all off, he said the woman for him is a woman that can take care of herself and yet still manage to take care of her man. And he made a perfect example of what a bad B is. Because a bad, a bad B is a woman who well, I'm putting you to say it like this. I won't even say it's a woman. I would say a particular female that looks the part, but not really the part. He's not even wrong. He's not even lying at, at one bit, but folks want to make it seem as if he's talking about women as a whole. When he act, when he, he act, he was asked, what was the difference? He know what he wanted, just like every man that knows what he want, wants. But the problem is we're living in a society where it's like, once again, we have the whole take me as I am syndrome. A man should accept, him, accept a woman for, for what she is or who she is or that, nothing else. But here's my thing. He made it clear of what is the difference and most people have a problem with him saying anything because one he's a man two he's a black man three he's a he's a, a, a quote unquote sports celebrity he's a quarterback uh, unfortunately he's free agent but other than that he's a quarterback in the NFL he's still in the NFL until further notice the thing of it is they don't want to hear a, a man, let alone a black man, speak on the on what a woman, especially when he's telling you what kind of woman he wants. He basically telling y'all what type of wife he wants. But we dealing with people who be like, well, he shouldn't have said nothing like that because that's misogyny. And for those who know don't know what misogyny is. It's basically a hatred towards women, which he doesn't display that when he, when he was speaking his piece. And then, the furthermore, he on that same podcast he does go out on dudes, but nobody want to pay attention to that. And that's an issue with me. There's no, there's not a fair level playing field when it comes to social media. Or this society in general is not a fair level playing field. 
a man telling him what what he want in a woman is bad but a woman can tell you left and right up and down in and out what a, what type of man that she wants not only that she'll tell you she will have the audacity to tell you what a real man is and it's celebrated while wow, man can tell you what a woman is it's it's not even close to tolerance We're living in a society that 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 celebrates bad things as good, but torture bad good things as bad. So I I definitely salute the brother for speaking his piece and separating the two, because a lot of people want to do some generalization situation when they know the difference between uh, a woman and a bad bee. Matter of fact, I even take it back to Tupac. Because I remember watching Tupac Resurrection, the documentary movie. I'm, I'll put it to you like this. I'm a Pac head. I, I literally studied Tupac for a certain amount of time, period of my life. Even he separated the two. Otherwise, he wouldn't even dare to make keep your head up and Brenda's got a baby. He will only focus on songs like I Get Around then. I wonder why they call you B. And a lot of women want to hold on to that like he calling women bees. No, he calling bees, bees. Because a lot of women want to call themselves that at the same time. But they're not going to get the harsh back, harsh backlash like a man would that calls a woman that. And, and many of y'all know what they are, what they, what that meaning is. Even though the dictionary makes it clear that that particular word means female dog, you go on any deeper, it's also a characteristic situation. But yet most women want to call themselves that because it's popular and at the same time it fits their character. I might get a little backlash for even bringing this up, but these are facts. These are facts. And one thing for sure, if women want to be taken serious, they need to find themselves in a serious situation. Otherwise, they they keep on following the likes of Megan the Stat Megan the Stallion, Cardi B, City Girls, Sweetie. And even legends like Slick Kim. I mean, the list goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And, and other modern women, like I would have to say Jada, Gabrielle, Tiffany. The, again, the list goes on and on. But at the same time, they have to be careful with guys like. You know what I'm saying? Future. And many people want to consider Future a uh, 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 this, that, and the third, but they Futures and, and guys like him be the first person to be chosen. But yet, Cam Newton can be persecuted for not wanting a bad B. And when a bad B talk about she, this, that, and the third, but can't cook. She can't clean. She can't. She don't know how to be quiet, or don't know when to be quiet. Or do, matter of fact, even more, allow a man to lead. Being the main ones talking about they want a husband that can that can provide and protect and this, that, and the third. But be the main one put those same dudes in an awkward position, so that they defending defending them for no reason at all. They want that honor to be protected. They want that honor to be secured. But yet put put the dudes in a position where their honor and their and their dignity be scrutinized. AKA Jada and Will. But the problem is, we as men, whether we black, whether we white, no matter what type of man we are, we say we want a particular woman, it's a problem. 
But let a woman say what type of man she wants is not a problem. But they're going to find out the hard way that the men that they particularly want, want a particular woman. Point blank, period. But that's just me. If, if you like what you heard, there's a like button. Dislike what you heard, there's a dislike button. Comment, speak your piece, and be disrespectful. Yay, never be disrespectful. You can be disagreeable, but do not disrespect. Subscribe, share this video. Let's continue this conversation. Until then, this is your boy P Lot, aka the Brick Slinger. Excuse me. And as always, continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers.